Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I'm actually bringing a video from my QuickBooks Simplified community that I want to share with you, and it's all about cleaning up your customer center if you have a payment and a charge that are both showing, but that were never matched, how to do that. Enjoy the video. If you have any customers with an invoice and a payment, how to apply the two together. So if you're looking at, instead of that report, say you're under reports, customers and receivables, open invoices, and you go down and you see your customers, you're gonna see if you ever have a payment that hasn't been applied, but you have a balance, that means you need to go in and apply any negatives to the invoice that they were actually trying to pay. So what happens is, is if you are making the payment, so I'm gonna double click on it, but you come in here and you just you forgot to create the invoices ahead of time or you forgot to check mark it, what'll happen is it'll just stay open. It won't be applied to any particular invoice. So it'll still look like they owe on that invoice it, and it will also show the credit. Now their balance will be the difference. So this one's $800, they had a $500 credit, a $500 invoice and an $800 invoice. So the balance is 800. But what will happen is if you're running statements or any of that, it's gonna show it as an open invoice. So what you wanna do is actually go in open up the payment, so you're gonna double click on the payment, whether you're in the customer center or from the report, find the, the invoice that it's applied to. It's as simple as check mark it and hit save and close. Now what happens if your customers don't pay an equivalent? So their invoice isn't the exact amount. So what you'll have to decide is how do you wanna apply those and that's more of a business however your business is set up and what your agreement is with your customers. But typically you start applying it to the oldest invoice, but you might need to go into the customer center and make sure that, you know, where their invoices and payments are at, that an old, sometimes what I've seen happen when I'm working with clients one-on-one -on -one is whether it's a vendor or a customer, there'll be a payment, but they didn't apply it to the right invoice. So it doesn't get applied correctly and then they'll have an open payment and then everything doesn't match. So if you find you have a lot of problems, start back at the beginning, look at which invoices are open, what invoice, how much was paid there to it, and is it in the right order? Hopefully you actually keep a record of your payments. What you can do is open up an old payment and unmark what it was assigned to and then select it to something else if that's what you need to do. If you ever mess up, you can always hit revert, all right? So that's how you go in and apply your payments so that you, these are all cleaned up. You shouldn't have any negative numbers unless somebody's paid you and you actually think they have a credit, all right? I will see you guys inside the next video. We are gonna talk about old invoices that you have from customers and how to clean those up. If you enjoyed this video, check out my QuickBooks Simplified community. We do monthly training that you normally will never see here on YouTube. We do live Q and A's where you can come in and ask me your questions. Feel free to go to quickbooksimplified.com to get more details. And if we're not currently open, join the waiting list to make sure that you get notified the next time it's available. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.